Good morning, mid-Missouri. We're going to be tracking a foggy start to your Thursday morning as we're going to be seeing some of this patchy fog moving in and out as we head throughout the first several hours across much of central Missouri, which is going to be reducing some of that visibility. So give yourself a little bit of extra time on the way out this morning and give yourself plenty of space in between other cars. That way you have a little bit more reaction time whenever you need to be stopping. Now, taking a look at the fog tracker, still going to be setting heavier bands all the way through about 7 to 8 a.m. A lot of that starts to lift as we get a little bit closer to 9 a.m. Visibility will start to increase. Still going to be seeing a little bit, especially towards the valley, so the Missouri River Valley. Going to be still seeing some heavier fog, but as we head towards noon, well, most of that starts to lift. and We're just going to be tracking mostly sunny skies as we head towards the afternoon hours. Temperature is going to slowly start to increase eventually by noon. Looking back into the upper 70s and by 3 p.m., 84 degrees, so going to be feeling like a great day to be out and about, especially with those mostly sunny sky conditions. We're going to see a UV index up to a level 9, so sunburn time today, going to be looking at about 20 minutes or less without the proper SPA protection. Now, with that being said, also going to be tracking higher levels of pollen across much of central Missouri as we head throughout the second half of the week into the upcoming weekend. Even by next Sunday, going to be seeing very high levels. Primary allergens are going to be grasses, planting, and nettle across much of central Missouri, with grasses being the most prevalent. So if you have any grass allergies, definitely going to be a little bit of a harder week into the weekend for you to be outdoors. Now, with that being said, we're also going to be tracking increasing dew points heading off into the upcoming weekend. So going to be feeling a little bit more hot and humid as we head off into Friday through Sunday. Then you notice a little bit of a cool down with those dew points. Well, we're also going to feel a cool down with those temperatures. That's going to be spurred by a cold front, which is going to lead to some more widespread showers and storms as we head off into Sunday afternoon. Eventually, by early morning Monday, that pushes back out of the area. But we're going to be tracking a little bit of a cool down as winds look to return out of the northwest. Now, just outside of that scope, as we head off into the second half of next week, into the extended forecast, we're going to be looking warmer than average here in Columbia. That's going to be due to an upper-level high-pressure system moving back into the region, which is going to cause more winds back out of the southwest. But you're seeing that significant cool-down as we head off into Sunday and Monday, go from 86 degrees back to 80 degrees. Usually this time of the year, we're sitting at about 89 for that average high. So for the most part, going to be a cooler-than-average forecast, with the exception of Friday afternoon.